Hello, I want to talk to you today about story stems. This is an interesting creative research method, which is also known as story completion or narrative story stem and probably has other names too. It was developed initially in psychology, but is now used right across the social sciences and beyond. What happens with this method is that researchers devise the start of a story, just a few sentences to present a dilemma. So Braun, Clark and Moller used this for investigating people's views of rule breaking in lockdown. And one of their little story stems was about a young person who'd been meeting friends online. And then the friends who this person had been meeting online invited them to meet in the park in person after dark, which was at the time against the lockdown rules. And then participants were asked to complete the story to say what happened. So researchers devise the story stem, the start of the story, and then they ask their participants to complete the story in an age and culture appropriate way. That might be in writing or verbally or using dolls or other figures. There are all sorts of different ways this can be done. You could even do it with drawing, I think. This method invites people to think creatively and to speculate. And the product of this reveals aspects of people's experiences and the ways that people make sense of their experiences. You can use this method to investigate individual, social or collective experiences, such as people's experiences of illness or festivals or lockdown. Analyzing the data yielded by story stems may be quantitative, such as content analysis or qualitative, such as thematic analysis or mixed methods multimodal, using both. One perhaps limitation of story stems is they raise the issue of truth claims, what's true, what's not true, because these are after all stories. The method works well with methodologies such as phenomenology and less well with methodologies such as post-positivism. And because of this issue of truth claims, researchers using story stems need to be careful not to claim too much from their findings. However, the story stem method does have a lot of potential to help us understand people's experiences.